Since 1948, the National Wrestling Alliance has historically been the largest sanctioning body in professional wrestling. Good evening, welcome to another edition of NWA Championship International Wrestling. I'm Norm Wehmer. It is tomorrow night. We are less than 24 hours away from CIW Championship International Wrestling back in Toledo. It'll be at the International Boxing Club, 525 Earl Wood Avenue in East Toledo. The doors will open at 4. Bell time will be at 5 o'clock. We'll run down the entire card coming up. All right, but on this episode, we will recap some of the things that are going on and get you ready for all the matches coming up tomorrow night. All right, we're going to start this one off. If you have not seen this match, if you have not seen the ending, it was something to behold. The Legion, Nitro, Malice, as they take on the Sons of Michigan. Let's take a look at it. Really not sure if the ring is going to be able to contain this one because there is so much bad blood, and we've seen it. We've seen what happened the last time with the IBC over and over, jumping over the barricade, Legion saying they have tickets, and again, not even waiting for the bell to start. Sons of Michigan roll in, attacked by the Legion. Yes, sir. I'm not looking forward to a scientific wrestling clinic. I'm looking forward to a brawl right now. That's gonna be what we get. Nitro rolls to the outside, Malice is in there. Sons of Michigan whipping in Malice. And look at that little assist on that drop kick. Oh yeah, now, oh yeah. yeah. And oh, Nate Matson using that jacket. Disqualification, disqualification. Good, good, choke him, choke the life out of him. Yeah, exactly. Yes. What goes around comes around. Hey, you know what? Sons of Michigan could play just as dirty, and they're going to have to. They really need to. And they've got a lot of fans right now because really no one wants to see Legion in here on Powerbomb Wrestling. Week in and week out, the carnage? No, we do not want that. Norm, you firsthand have seen what they can do. Oh, absolutely. They don't care. No, they don't. They don't care about rules. They don't care who they hurt. They do not care. They're mean, tough, vicious, angry. Drop toe hold. Oh yeah. But they're also excellent wrestlers. Oh, they are. Not to take anything away from that, but just the attitudes and the demeanor, it's gotta go. What they do, they're just disregard for, for human existence. No, 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 no. And then don't get, don't discount the ball headed weasel. In the Who now is managing our broadcast partner, Norm. He's his he's, agent he's, now. He's a good agent, man. Can you imagine that? I, I just want to make sure they don't come over here. I, I brought this cane with me right here. We're going to have to use I'm that gonna, most I'm likely. I'm at least have something to defend myself. Yeah, we're going to need it. I we're going to need it. I don't it. trust these guys. Look at this. Look at this. I and, told you they had a hidden agenda. And right as Nate Madsen went for the tag, they knocked Benjamin Boone out of the corner. No tag. Yet again, we're not going to see a scientific wrestling yeah, match here. Oh, see, three on one. Three on one, here we go. Yep, TK Parker, two minutes into this match, already interjecting himself, to no one's surprise. That's right. All you were doing he was defending to. himself. I wish he would. All he was doing was defending himself. That's plainly what he did. Double hip toss on the amazing Nate defending Madsen. Defending himself, he's outside the ring. Nate Madsen's in the ring. How's he got to defend himself? Because he tried to reach out of the ring and grab TK. Well, then step away. Nate Madsen's back is in bad shape right now. This is not going to help. Has him up, suplex, brings him over. There's the float over, goes for a cover. 
Malice doesn't get it. Keep him out of the ring, ref. Keep Boone out of the ring. Yeah, no love lost between you and Benjamin Boone, is there? Are you claim that Benjamin Boone almost ended your life? Is that the deal? Yeah, he ended my wrestling career, and he also almost ended my radio career. That would have been a loss. I'm getting to like Ben Boone even more. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, wow. How much do we have to pay him to finish the job? Yeah, you lean back when Benjamin Boone's out here, don't you, Grizzly? Because I don't trust him. The, the sons of Michigan are wrestling for the soul of this organization. Well, yes, they are. We don't want Legion here. They got in the last time with a ticket, jumped the barricade. We want them gone, and we want them gone permanently. And if they lose, they're out of here forever. Legion is the heart and soul of this organization. And Nate Madsen in the wrong part of town, trying to figure out where his partner is. He was just so disoriented at that point and ran into that head of steam from Nitro. Legion has no soul. No, they don't. None whatsoever. Uh, they don't. Nate Madsen trying to shake out the cobwebs. Can he get to Benjamin oh, Boone? that. Almost. Nate's got to get a tag. Kick, two kicks to the groin. Come on. Doing what he can, trying to just inch his way over to his corner. But Nitro just grabs him and drops that elbow in, just stretching that groin, that inner thigh. I tell you, a lot of fight in Nate Madsen. Not to mention the hamstrings, too. Exactly, so much damage inflicted by Nitro. Now head first into that top turnbuckle. Can barely see at this point, which is why he just wandered right back into the uh, wrong corner. And yeah, we knew that Malice wasn't gonna take it easy on him, big clubbing forearm to the back. Nate's gotta get a tag or this is gonna be over. Yeah, it's gonna be over before we really even gotta see the Big Bear Benjamin Boone. Come on, boom! Nitro brings him up. There we go. Double underhook suplex. So much damage to the back now of the amazing Nate Madsen. Hey, Norm, keep it under control. Keep it under control, Norm. Don't fall. This is exactly what TK Parker wants you to do. This is exactly what he wants you to do right now, Norm. He's not worth it, Norm. No, it's not worth it, Norm. Not worth it at all. That's what he wants you to do. Jawbreaker from Nate Madsen goes off the ropes. What can he do now? Flips up and over, tries to roll him up. He should have gone for a cover. Ropes. Nitro was in the ropes. You were right on that one. Yeah, ropes are meant to keep you into the ring. Uh, yeah, exactly. I'm not going after him, but if he comes over here, I'm getting something to defend myself. That's what he wants you to do, Norm. He wants you to go after I'm him. Not, I'm glad I'm to see that you're smart enough there. not to. That's good. I don't want any piece of any of this. I he's just trying want to sucker you in. I just want to do my job. He's trying to sucker you in. That's all he's trying to do. I'm not going over there. But if they come over here, I'm grabbing something. Nate Madsen goes into the corner. There's the whip in. Oh, look at that. One clothesline and a big boot, and the amazing Nate Madsen goes down. Excellence in tag team wrestling right there. Come on now. There you go, all right. man. All right. All right. Boone should be disqualified right there for that way, man. You've got a five count. He's doing whatever he can at this point right now. I tell you what, boy, the Legion, such a cohesive unit. But again now, what they've done leading up to this match, we cannot have more people like that here. It's bad enough with guys like Terror Khan, but we do not need guys who take evil to the extreme like Legion does. We don't need them here. We need them out of here. The excellence in tag team wrestling, Legion. Benjamin Boone trying to fire up the crowd right now. As Nate Madsen is really, really trying to muster up as much energy as he can to get himself back up to his feet. Will he be able to do it? Will the crowd fire him up enough? Oh yeah, he's feeling it right now. He's feeling it right now. Couple of shots in, he's up to his feet. That's a start. What's he gonna be able to do? So critical to make that tag but Malice fires back. There's the whip in, reversal. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That Come back on, leg Nate. kick. Come on, you gotta on, get a Nate. tag. Come on, Nate. He's gotta get Come a on, tag. Nate. He's gotta get a tag. He's gotta make it. On, Will he Nate. do it? There it is. Yeah. And he yeah. makes the tag and the Big Bear is in. The Big Bear is cleaning house. Right, One right after another, they go down. He's on fire. Big shoulder tackle, oh, and yeah. the Big Bear is feeling it. Oh. Mathis tries to fight back. Boone's in the ropes, he's in, and there's the reversal. Oh, gosh, look at the power. 
Well, oh, look at that right now. Nitro was able to make it in to break up that cover. And Nate Madsen has had enough. Madsen interfering. What's he doing in the ring? He may be beaten down, but boy, he wants to get some revenge. And he wants to keep Legion out as much as everyone else does. Well, the legal men are outside the ring. What's going to happen there right in front of our camera person? Ouch. And Ben oh, Boone goes face first into the post. I hope it tasted good. <laughs> and now Nate Madsen goes down. It's a two-on-one. Hey, hey, going to be a three-on-one as hey. CJ Parker has grabbed the chair. Come on now. Oh, come on now. Referee, don't let this come go on, on anymore. Oh. And Nate Madsen ducks. And Nitro hits Malice over the chair. There's Austin Mannix. What he comes he into the ring, in and he's sent out oh, of the ring. The TK Parker wants to get in there. That's a wrong idea, TK, because you're in trouble. Oh, he's not, not a wrestler. He's Parker not a wrestler. was hit. What are you doing hitting the guy that's There's your wrestler. agent. There's your agent, what's Grizzly. The, the, Nate Manson's my hero. Unfortunately, what's, though, Nitro was able to break up the pin attempt. What, what, he's not even a, oh, geez. he's not a wrestler. And Boo went in for a clothesline, inadvertently hit the referee who's dazed right now. Look at the records, look at the carnage. We have guys inside the ring, guys outside the ring. Oh! The Big Bear with a huge on, splash. Man. One, two, two, three. That's your three count. No, we're That's okay. your three I count. Really count. I don't see this any should legal be count over. Going on. Legion should be gone, they're, they're out of here referee. forever. Where's the referee? Legion's oh, come done. On. Legion should be done. This is it, they're out of here. No, come on. The sons of Michigan should be out of here for attacking a wrestling manager, a non-wrestling personnel. Now we've got enough for another referee in there trying to revive the first. Oh, oh no! Oh, no. Oh, you saw man, the fire. It was fire! It was fire! Right was into fire. the face. No. The fireball into no. the face of Benjamin Boone. Oh my God. Right into the oh, eyes of Benjamin Boone. What was that? Grizzly, you can't justify that. On his head. Somebody help him. They threw fire right into the face of Benjamin Boone. Keep him away from us. Keep both of them away. Come on. I mean, seriously? Oh, you can smell it out here at ringside, the burning flesh. Glad they left me out of that. Don't know how I'm avoiding all of that. Absolutely ridiculous. Hugging my broadcast partner. You can still smell the burned flesh for crying out loud. No, no, uh uh. Him, them. And they're here. And they're allowed to be here. We can't review this somehow? We can't review this somehow? Now they're trying to get into it with Angel Bailey and some of the fans. I think Benjamin, I think Benjamin Boone tried to light a cigarette up in the ring. Not really sure that's what was going on there, Grizz. What happened, Grizz, and you know it. Yeah, you saw what happened. You probably knew what was going to happen. You probably sat here with the knowledge that you knew what was going to happen. I see Nitro put a cigarette out in the ring. That's what I saw. But I so didn't have a full view of yeah, it. Yeah, whatever. Disgust me. Ridiculous. And now we've got to deal with these guys on a week-to-week -week basis? All right, you saw the ending of the match. Uh, you saw that there was a fireball that was thrown into the face of the big bear, Benjamin Boone. We still don't know yet at this time if for sure Ben Boone will be at the International Boxing Club tomorrow night, 525 Earlwood Avenue 
in East Toledo. We do have an interview with Nate Matson, who will definitely be there. We still don't know if this is going to be a tag match, it'll be a handicap match or what, but obviously a very distraught, amazing Nate Matson, and we'll back that up with a rather disturbing interview with the Legion. Obviously, as we've seen time and time again, the match ended with the Big Bear Benjamin Boone, the fire into the face. I'm not even convinced he's going to be what medically cleared to wrestle on May 19th. Can you give us an update on that as we uh, lead into the uh, May 19th match at IBC? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we know the history of Legion. We know the, Le the Legion, they hate the Sons of Michigan. They're going to do everything they can to take them out. But you know what? I've, be I've seen the Big Bear. I've been with the Ben Boone. I don't know if he's going to be ready. We have the rematch signed. Sons of Michigan versus Legion, it's on paper. I don't care if I have to go down to the ring alone. All I know is that Ben Boone, he's trying. He's been had some facial reconstruction. He's had a lot of things done to him. He's seen doctor after doctor. But you know what? Legion versus Sons of Michigan 2 is going to be like nothing you've ever seen. You thought we tried to start a riot before. We're not only going to bring Detroit style to NWA CIW. Legion, we tried to make you a number one project to get you out of here, but nobody wants to see you gone more than Amazing Nate Matson and the Sons of Michigan. It's on May 19th, and boys, I don't care who I have to bring, you're not going out without a fight. So you've heard it there from Amazing Nate Matson, one half of the Sons of Michigan. It could be two on one, could be two on two, but we're going to find out what's going to happen, and I cannot wait to see this May 19th at the IBC. Sons of Michigan taking on Legion. Despicable, heinous, just a few of the words that we can use to describe what happened between Legion and the Sons of Michigan. Legion trying to win their way into the company and they resorted to the dirtiest tactic possible, which was throwing fire into the face of the big bear Benjamin Boone. And whether you like Benjamin Boone or you don't like Benjamin Boone, to see that happen, again, absolutely despicable. That's not what we... <laughs> That's how you do it. That's how you do it. <laughs> Toledo, Ohio, PCW, we told you a long time ago, Legion was here. We're here to take titles. We're here to beat people up. Get a real announcer yeah. Yeah. yeah, Homer, I got this covered. Oh, yeah. Here's the Grizz. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep him around. TK, congratulations. Thank you. Congrat a great victory tonight. Great victory tonight uh, for Legion. Don't go anywhere. Um, anyway, I bet you Benjamin Boone's a little hot after this one, but what a great <laughs> scientific match. A great win, TK. Thank you, thank you. You know, Benjamin Boone, you were the one that started this with us last month. Right. You were the one that got in our face, and this is what you get. Feel a little hot under the collar, my friend? <laughs> So anyway, I'll tell you what, it, it, when it comes to scientific wrestling, Legion, you guys, you guys write the book on we it. We know the holds, that's for sure. For one. Absolutely. <laughs> and uh, so now, where do we go from here with the Sons of Michigan, since they're a little burned up? Sons of Michigan, you want to call, talk about coming from the mean streets of Detroit? Legion, we've been up and down every road in America, and every time we roll down them, we roll right over guys like you. So bring it on. Sons of Michigan, you want a rematch? Anybody else in PCW, you want to you want a match? You just bring it to the Legion, and we're going to put you down. That's right. And Benjamin Boone, there you go. Here you go, Boomer. <laughs> Somebody's going to feel this sound. Beer located at 5333 Monroe Street, the home of the NFL Sunday ticket. Catch your favorite game at the Beer Stube. We have a brand new kitchen open daily for lunch and dinner at 11 a.m. At the Beer Stube, it's a Wi Fi hotspot and enjoy free pool from Sunday through Wednesday and premiere karaoke Wednesday night through Saturday night. It's where bar, grill, and good times come together. It's the Beer Stube, 5333 Monroe Street, online at ToledoBS.com. Johnny's Motor Cars, 1248 South Reynolds Road is Toledo's only used car dealer with a limited lifetime warranty. Serving the Toledo area for over 50 years with payments as low as $25 a week or no payments for up to six months. Buy here, pay here, and conventional financing is available. Quality vehicles at $14.95 and up. You contact Brandon at 419-787-4337. Everyone's approved at Johnny's Motor Cars. Contact Brandon for a dog gone good deal. Video Game Underground, with one of the best selection of Xbox, PlayStation 1 and 2, Nintendo GameCube, 
Games and Fox War Video Game Underground. Toledo's only source for import and classic video games, DVDs, all used DVDs, eight bucks or less. Video Game Underground, 2039 West West Road, just west of Mirror Mile. Phone 419 472 5443. The Screen Printing Factory, 2562 Parkway Plaza, Maumee, Ohio, is just off Anthony Wayne Trail in South Detroit. Are you looking for a custom design? we got you covered. Are you looking for a quick turnaround? We've got you covered. Are you looking for a dependable and reliable company? We've got you covered. Hidden charges here at the Screen Printing Factory. From 12 shirts to 1,000 shirts, each order is important to us. So stop in and see Ben or Jason and let them help you build your image. The Screen Printing Factory. we got you covered. Somebody's gonna feel this sound. Back we are, NWA Championship International Wrestling. All right, the show is coming your way tomorrow night live in Toledo, 525 Earlwood Avenue, East Toledo, Oregon, right off of Star and I-280. Doors will open at 4, bell time at 5 o'clock, and what a tremendous card we have. It is unbelievable, this card. Sons of Michigan still signed. The, Nate, uh, the Big Bear Benjamin Booth and Amazing Nate Matson as they take on Legion. Nitro Malice with TK Parker in their corner. Handicap match, the Mysterious Crimson as he takes on the world's most huggable wrestler, Brian Castle, along with his partner, Andrew Lee. The CIW Heavyweight Championship will be on the line as the champion, Sebastian Rose, will battle Austin Maddox and once again, TK Parker in his corner. You will see Diamond Couture as he'll battle with the vicious Terror Khan, the potentate of hate. Benjamin Harley will be in his corner and I'll have a sit down with Benjamin Harley coming up a little bit later in this hour. You'll also see the maniac Buzz Manson on the card, the great Akuma will be there, the mastermind Dave Dupont and more coming your way. It's less than 24 hours tomorrow night at the International Boxing Club, 525 Earlwood Avenue in East Toledo. But of course, that huge six-man tag as Andrew Shane will team with sexy Sean Casey, Dr. Jerry Graham Jr. in the corner. Really not a six-man tag, but with, uh, with Jerry Graham around, it's almost like it is a six-man tag. But it is a tag match. Andrew Shane, sexy Sean Casey will tag up as they take on D-Ray 3000 and Will Studd. Of course, last time at the International Boxing Club, it was Andrew Shane challenging D-Ray 3000 for the PCW Heavyweight Championship, and let's show you that match right now. They took his hair, and now they're gonna try and take his title. D-Ray 3000, the PCW Champion. Oh, and they're going right at him. D-Ray attacked him before the bell ring. What's going on here? How can he get away with this stuff? Now, when someone like Tara Khan does that, or when someone like uh, Chris Corvus does that, you're all okay with that, Grizzly. But when D-Ray 3000 does it, you're not okay. He's supposed to set precedence as champion. You had to think about that one. You had to go through your Rule Breaker 101 book. Oh, this is what my comeback is going to be. Off the ropes, Andy Shane sent in. Big hip toss. Oh, my Come on, goodness. Andrew. Yeah, yeah. We have the son of a legend, Bobo Brazil. He's out here as well, hoping to keep, you know, maybe the peace. Well, it looks like a numbers game to me. Bo Bobo Brazil Jr. here. We got Norm Waymer down there. Percival A. Friend. Three guys that hate Dr. Graham and Andrew Shane. And you got D Ray up there. I, I don't. It just didn't. Incoming! And D Ray with a suicide dive, taking out Andrew Shane. Normally we see Andy Shane pull that out of his bag of tricks. I mean, that's that's the cement. Right, the suicide dive. You know, he's taking a big chance. But he's doing everything he can to keep that belt around his waist, and that's what a champion should do. Keep an eye, Bobo. He's doing around the room. That's it. Keep an eye, Bobo. I don't trust either one of these guys, and you shouldn't sure either. But you know what? If they, like, I'm strict from, straight from getting in that ring, but if they touch me the wrong way, I have a right. Don't revoke I hear you. I have a right to get in that ring. There it is. There it is. There it is. Come on, Andrew. Come on, Come on D-Ray. D-Ray, you can do it. D-Ray 3000 bringing Andy Shane up. There's the break from Andy Shane right into the eyes. He loves doing that. You almost have to wear sunglasses as thick as the glasses that Grizzly wears. Keep yourselves away from those fingertips of Andy Shane. What a nasty clothesline that is. 
And Dr. Jerry Graham just <laughs> laughing away. Yeah, but he couldn't do me like that. He couldn't do me like that. You too, Percival. See, look at Percival, I'm telling you. Norman Percival has a hidden agenda. I'm not really sure about that. All I know is if you want to talk about hidden agendas, look at the wall oh, yeah, that Dr. Go. Jerry Graham pulled over our yeah, eyes over the last couple of years. That it is. And is a heck of a compelling route, but he's teamed with the wrong guy and he's beginning to be a cheater. I never known him to cheat that much, but now he's just cheating every time you look around. Why don't he just rouse the fair? But D Ray is going to take it to him. Either way it goes. D Ray is one heck of a compelling route. You know, this is a tremendous matchup. The promoters did their work. D Ray not looking so good right now, and he's in the wrong part of town. And what do you call this, Grizzly? But that's what having guy. a manager for a shortcut. That's why I really didn't want a manager. But manager gets you more contract. Were you talking about this fan over here that's that's threatening? Grizzly, you missed everything. Dr. Jerry Graham choking D-Ray 3000. Come on. Referee was distracted, much like Grizzly was. Come on, Jerry's Dr. Jerry Graham is trying to help him. He's, you know, he's, he's, wrestling, he's wrestling two men. You see, and that's going to be hard to beat. And wrestling two men there. Oh. He's got to wrestle two guys. Yeah. He, Come on, Andrew, put him away. Graham and Shane both know that they can't, that Shane can't beat D Ray by himself. It's He's no got to wrestle two guys oh, tonight. And I tell you what, Andy Shane is just, he stayed right into the eyes. Okay. Come on, Graham. Look at Graham. Dr. Graham Look checking Graham. those eyes out. Short Way to go, Dr. Graham. To sure Way to be a good sportsman and check those down. eyes. Oh, I suppose, I suppose Grizz thinks that Graham was trying to ho open he, up his airwaves, right? He, no, he just checked his eyes, make sure he wasn't boy. hurt. His eyes. Here, let me see this finger. Get oh, come on now. Graham. Graham. Come on now. Stakes of a feather. All sticks together. D-Ray fires back, though. Big knife edge. There you go, D-Ray. Light him up. Andy Shane reeling right now. And Andy Shane just right back into the eyes. That seems to be what he does anytime the advantage isn't going his oh, way. Oh, into the oh, eyes, DDT. DDT. DDT, come on. That was delivered perfect. Yeah. Come on, D-Ray, come on. D-Ray goes to the outside, but with Dr. Jerry Graham out there, that's a bad Help. place to be. On, Help him, Dr. Hey, Graham. Graham. Help him. Graham doesn't belong over there. Help him, doctor. Help him. Help him Help walk. Him. Help him do what? Yep. Dr. Graham over there making sure that that unruly fan don't get involved here and attack D-Ray. Graham wouldn't help an old lady across the street unless he could pick her pocket. Don't you just like that? Don't you just love it? Huh? Just love it. Don't That's you just love it? How about you, Percival? That couldn't be me up there. That couldn't be me no way. I haven't seen Dr. Jerry Graham this cocky in a long time. Andy Shane has D-Ray 3000 up on his shoulders. Oh Drops him down with so much force. But D Ray is able to kick out. He only got two. Elbow to the top of the head. Looks like Andy is going up to the top. He earned that nickname, Flying Andy Shane. We're going to see it right now. Oh, man, he's in control. He is in control. Moonsault, maybe? All the way to the top. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Now is time when they make the mistake. I want to cover him, D Ray. I want to cram taught him that, too. Cover him, D Ray. Come on, D Ray. Now is time. Don't give him too much time. Time. Oh, D-Ray's firing back up. Come on, take it to him. No, it. Give him everything you got. A couple now thumbs to the throat. To reach down deep. Sends him in reversal now. Knee into the midsection. There we go. And Andy Shane's Excellent recovered from the missed moonsault. Come on, yeah. Andrew. And believe it or not, even after the missed moonsault, Andy Shane is going to go up to the top again. I still think he's a little dazed and wobbly from that. Andrew Shane has more fortitude than anybody in this building right now. I still want to call him Andy Shane. I'm sorry. Andrew, he deserves some respect. Here he goes. There you go, D-Ray. D-Ray has him, maybe. They're fighting now on the top. Yeah, he's going to fly. Andy's going to fly. Watch him fly. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at this. Fly. What a tremendous superplex that was. Oh. 
They were both on the top. It took a little bit more out of D-Ray and it looked like it did. Shane, come on, D-Ray. You know, matter what. Andy Shane fly? I never seen him fly like that <laughs> without wings. Without wings. That's the one time I wanted to see him fly. I guess they call him flying Andy Shane. <laughs> Dr. He Jerry Graham is, wings. he's trying to revive Andy Shane as and best as he can. D-Ray goes for a cover. Shane was so close to the ropes, right. he just threw his bottom leg over it. I think Graham put his leg up on a rope. What do you think, Bo? I, That's what it looked like to me. That, but, but, you yeah. know, Dr. Graham out. was 15 was feet away. That was a smart move for, you know, a veteran to do is put his foot on the rope. Oh, 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 oh man. <laughs> That'll give you a headache for three days. Now, look at that. Oh, yeah, that He's bringing in hey, Dr. Jerry Graham. Doesn't belong up there. Oh, come, come on. on. Well, Dr. Graham's, Graham's checking him out. There should be a disqualification. Oh! oh. There you go. Graham really needs And he it. just hit Dr. Oh. Jerry Graham. Big oh. drop kick from D-Ray. Oh, wait a minute. He's a wrestling man. He's from D-Ray. <laughs> hey, he's, he's in the ring. He's not a wrestler. What are you doing attacking him, boy, man? What is he doing attacking oh. Disqualify him. He's in the he ring. Be, no. Right there, D-Ray should be disqualified and he should be suspended. For attacking the referee who was in the ring. How do you attack the manager like that? You don't attack a manager like that. Oh, look at Graham. Graham's got a chain. He's got a chain. Oh, he's right in the throat. Right into the throat of D-Ray 3000. Look at this unruly fan over here. This unruly fan over here is going to get in the... No! No! Scientific match right there. Your winner and new PCW heavyweight champion, Andrew Shane. Ridiculous. He used the chain. No, he hasn't got it. Wait, wait, what's the referee? He, D Ray 3000 attacked the wrestling. Man. No, what that, are you doing? that was that was absolutely despicable. You hit him in the throat with a chain. What's the matter with you? Whose shoulders got counted down? You gave me the rules on the last show. Referees will count his final. What's Bobo Brazil Jr. doing? Well, Bobo is going to try and make things right. The son of a legend is going to try and make things right. Oh, oh you're oh, kidding oh, me. Oh, there we go. Here's a guy with multiple health issues just attacked and blindsided by Dr. Jerry Graham and Andy Shane. This is nuts. It's not about titles or championships right now. It's about humiliating. D-Ray attacking. D-Ray attacking. D-Ray should be suspended. There should be some fines. Oh, what's going on? Now, Sean Casey's in the ring. Get some order, Sean. Order. Get him out of there, Sean. Get him out of there. Wait. Thank God for Sean Casey. No! No! That chain again right into the neck of D Ray 3000. No! Thanks to Sean Casey. Come on! Ridiculous. Look at that. William Studd is in the ring. What, what's William Studd? He's bandaged Look up. The cowards run away. Yeah, exactly. Thanks, Sean, for coming in and getting order. Nice job, Sean. Sean Kate. Good job, Andrew. You are the champion, Andrew. Way to go. Way to go, buddy. Remember Graham's army right here. <laughs> All right. You got it. You gotta be kidding. Now, we've seen an uneasy alliance in the past between Sean Casey and Andrew Shane, and now Dr. Jared Graham just makes hey. it official there. Hey, Andy yeah, Shane, huh? never attack you, uh, Jerry. Should never attack you. You want to play Dodie? Huh? You got to get your friends to help you?
Okay, how about this? How about this? You wanna play nasty? You wanna fight fire with fire? May 19th, and he's saying, May 19th, you and Sean Casey against me and Will Stud. <laughs> If he's, not, Bailey. if he's not suspended, Commissioner Angel. here comes Angel to hand out suspension right here for D Ray. D Ray will be suspended. You got that match. I'm making that match right, uh, right, here. Be exactly. right now. What you exactly. got to say about it? Why don't you go back to the kitchen and do some dishes or something? I own the kitchen, baby, and you're not coming in. Why isn't he suspended? D Ray should be Next suspended. Next month. You got it. What a conspiracy. I'm not really sure what conspiracy theory you're thinking is going on here. Can I get one favor? I don't supposed to be wrestling. But come next month, Dr. Jerry Graham, I didn't supposed to, all I did wanted to get up there and stop him from double team and D-Ray. He hit me. Can I have the opportunity to be standing in these boys' corner next month? Can I get that opportunity to be there? Please, can I please? You gotta be kidding me. What May 19th, it will be Dr. Jerry Graham leading Sean Casey and Andrew Shane against D Ray 3000, Will Stud with Bobo Brazil Jr. in their corner. Oh, that's gonna be huge. Oh, finally, man. now, finally, now, some justice for Andrew Shane, Sean Casey, and Dr. Jerry Graham, who's turned his back on. Everyone will see that May 19th, the Super... Oh, you got something else, Grizzly, do Justice. Out of all these Justice. years, I know Dr. Jerry Graham weakness. See, he managed me out of all these years. One thing I did was comprehension, a lot of stuff. I know his weakness, and come May 19th, Jerry Graham, you're going to pay for that. There you go. Let's hear it one more time for Bobo Brazil Jr. The superstars of the NWA CIW right here on Powerbomb Wrestling. All right, because of that ending, because of what we saw, Bobo Brazil Jr. will be in the corner of D-Ray 3000 and Will Stud for the big tag match coming up tomorrow night with, of course, Andrew Shane, now the PCW champion, along with sex sexy Sean Casey, and they were former PCW tag team champions. So you got Jerry Graham in one corner, you got Bobo Brazil Jr. in the other corner. Let's go to Boomer Bratton, who has an interview with Andrew Shane, along with Dr. Jerry Graham. Fans, we're going to see it at the IBC, the International Boxing Club, on May 19th. NWA, CIW, tag team match, which is going to be huge as Will Studd and the former champ, D-Ray 3000, take on, well, the people that basically cost him the belt, the current champ, Andy Shane, Sean Casey, managed by Dr. Jerry Graham. What a great tag team. Two of the greatest, if not the greatest wrestlers in the world, managed by the genius. But... I want these boys to tell you them for themselves what they are going to do to Stud and to D-Ray because it's not going to just be one of these return match, return match, return match. They're going to the hospital. They're going out. And we're together as a team. We are a unit. Careers are ending. Bones are broken. Right now, this is unity in the community with Dr. Graham on our side. It's straight to the top for us. <laughs> The best in the world do not think that's just making a statement to make a statement. The simple fact of the matter is, sexy Sean Casey, Dr. Jerry Graham, Andy freaking Shane are the best you will ever see and the best you will ever witness. They are done. William Studd is dead. D-Ray 3000 is dead. And Sean Casey, Andrew Shane rising straight to the top. I wouldn't be surprised if we got some uh, tag belts to go along with the single belt here. I mean, uh, we're going to take it all. We're going to take it all, brother. We're taking it all. Everyone needs to be on notice, especially D-Ray 3000 and William Studd, because it's going to happen. Andy Shane, Sexy Sean Casey, Dr. Jerry Graham, tag team match on May 19th at the IBC. Believe that. <laughs> okay, know, guys, do I really have to do this with these guys again? Seriously? I, I got to tell you, there is... Um, 
it's unbelievable how these two guys act when they're together. Andrew Shane, Dr. Jerry Graham Jr. But you got it. You got to admit that they are one heck of a force. And you got to admit when they talk about titles, they do collect them when they are together. All right. The other half of the tag team, sexy Sean Casey in action coming your way next as he takes on Andrew Lee. Let's take a look at the match. Well, Andrew Lee's a gamer. Sexy Sean Casey, though, has been up and down the road many, many times. A lot of the superstars that you see today. Sexy Sean Casey had a hand in training them. This guy knows what he's doing. Yes, yeah, certainly he does like to add a little bit of showmanship into what he does. As you can see that as he's taking off his belt and he's kind of just jawing with the referee and having fun with the fans and whatnot. Because that's what Sexy Sean Casey does. But boy, when that bell rings, he's he knows pissed. how to break. Yes, he does. I, I have the utmost respect for Sean Casey. He's been up and down the road for many a years. He's won a lot of titles. He's trained a lot of great wrestlers. So, Norm, we're actually taking bets over here how long it's going to be into the match before we actually see Sexy Sean Casey going for a lockup. We're thinking five minutes or so because he's got to do his whole. Uh... Oh, look at oh, look at Andrew. <laughs> oh, Sean, like I told you, don't let don't let this guy uh, fool you, Boomer. <laughs> don't let him fool that's you. That's funny. I'm sorry. I'm going to laugh at that. Oh, Sean, Sean, Sean's going to teach him a lesson right here. I think Sean Casey's eating meals bigger than Andrew Lee. Hey, but you know what? You know one thing. You, you don't want to be too overconfident in this business because you're always three seconds away from losing a match. Yo, you're right about that. And that's one thing I think just with that smirk on sexy Sean Casey's face right now is he's probably uh, brimming with a little bit too much confidence. Andrew oh, Lee floats that. over side headlock. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Sean Casey can't believe it. He just picks him up. And well, Andrew Lee still holds on. He's a youngster. He's given up a lot of weight. He's, he's pretty new to the business. Shoulder tackle, Andrew Lee goes down, and now there's the sexy Sean Casey dance. I've watched videos. I just can't get that down. We want to see you do that dance, Grizzly. Oh, um, you'd have to pay. Hey, I got to tell you something, though. It takes it takes a lot of guts to get in, in those ropes, to, to walk oh, through yes, them it ropes. Does get into the match and take on somebody like Sean Casey. That takes a lot of guts. And Andrew Lee wanted another shoulder tackle, and well, Sean Casey gave it to him with the patented Sean Casey dance. Uh -oh. But oh, his back is turned to Andrew Lee. Taps his shoulder, and Casey just brushes him off. Not a good idea. Brushes him off again. Spins him around. And he tries those Kung Fu punches, the open palm thrusts. But he just comes back. You got to give Andrew Lee the credit. Well, he's trying. He's trying. Ducks under. Oh. Goes for a couple of kicks. Some low kicks. Oh, there. look at that. Look at that shining wizard. Oh, my goodness. Casey now can't believe it. Norm, just like you said, you're three seconds away from losing a match. Casey misfires on a clothesline, tries to get his boots up. Andrew Lee stops, tells him to come on in, ducks through, has him in a side headlock. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh my goodness. Here. Will he get him? Two. Will he get him? Oh, oh my goodness. My. Oh, that would have been probably the biggest upset ever here on Powerbomb Wrestling. What a handful of hair. Keep him down on the mat. Yeah. Get him down, keep him down. A handful of hair. A handful of hair. <laughs> there was no hair. That is, that is Oh. And Andrew Lee just misfiring all that momentum he had built up. Misfires on the splash. Casey steps out of the way. Yeah, teach him, teach him about hair well, pulling shots. Oh my there goodness! You go. good uh, he night. got shot. Casey's attention. Night. And one super kick is all it took. I'm not really sure if I'm into the way that he's pinning him, but you know what? Push ups over me, showing him that you know, pull my hair again. Don't really know if I want to see that again. You're winner of the match. Sexy Sean Casey. Sexy Sean Casey. Almost let his confidence get the better of him, but able to pull out the victory over Andrew Lee. It's the superstars of NWA Championship International Wrestling on Powerbomb Wrestling. 
Well, listen up, fans. If you would like to raise money for your school, club, or civic organization and see the excitement of NWA Championship Wrestling live in your hometown, then this message is for you. High school athletic departments, sports teams, fire and police departments, JCs, or any group wishing to raise money, then bring the stars of NWA Championship Wrestling to your town for a night of action, then call Stacy at 517-425-1110. Your fundraising group and the NWA, an unbeatable tag team. Somebody's gonna feel this sound. Back we are here in Power Bomb Wrestling. I'm Norm Waymer. It is the superstars of NWA Championship International Wrestling in action coming up tomorrow at the International Boxing Club, 525 Earlwood Avenue in East Toledo. It's the old fun spot right off a of star and I-280. The doors will open at 4. Bell time will be at 5 o'clock. Great card. We've been talking about it. Andrew Shane, the PCW champion, along with Sexy Sean Casey, Dr. Jerry Graham in their corner as they take on D-Ray 3000, Will Studd, and Bobo Brazil jr in their corner it is still signed the sons of michigan to take on legion tk parker in the corner of legion we'll see if the big bear benjamin boone is there or not also on the card the ciw heavyweight championship on the line sebastian rhodes he is healthy he is cleared sebastian rose will take on austin maddox and again tk parker in his corner. Diamond Couture as he takes on the vicious Terror Khan. The potentate of hate, Benjamin Harley in his corner. We'll talk to him a little bit later in this hour. But a return match. And last time, boy, I tell you what, the mysterious Crimson to try to, to pin him down, to try to get the edge on him, boy, it's almost impossible. He sprayed Brian Castle in the face last time in the International Boxing Club with that mysterious mist. This time, Crimson will have to take on Brian Castle with Andrew Lee in a handicap match. Let's take you to comments from the world's most huggable wrestler, Brian Castle. Here with the world's most huggable wrestler, Brian Castle. Brian, I've got to ask you again, how are the eyes? Why does he keep doing that? Ow! It hurts really bad. But this time again, it wasn't so bad because I watched Crimson as Andrew Lee tried to make the save, he has a name now. He tried to make the save, he tried to be my friend, and he tried to hit Crimson with that chair. But Crimson, you hit him with the touch of evil right into that chair, you took him out. But now, my eyes are starting to heal, I'm starting to see a lot clearer. Crimson, May 19th, I don't think you know what's coming for you yet. Frankly, neither do I because I have a lot in store for you, friend. May 19th at the IBC, we're back NWA CIW. And this time, I'm gonna high five your face. So we know what's gonna happen. May 19th at the IBC, NWA CIW returns and you're going to see it crimson and the world's most huggable wrestler, Brian Castle. It is not over between these two. May 19th, it's gonna continue. Bye. All right, back we are. Powerbomb Wrestling, the superstars, NWA Championship Wrestling. I told you that they were going to make me do this. So I guess it's either a promise kept or a threat kept. I am sitting here with the manager of Terracon, the potentate of hate, Benjamin Harley. Got to mention handsome. I don't find you handsome at all, but that's all right. Uh, you are the manager of TerraCon. Yes. The same TerraCon that pulled a fan over the railing the last time at the International Boxing Club. What do you have to say for yourself? Well, we've been fine, Norm, and, and, and that's okay, all right? You know, if they want to fine us, that's fine because, you know what, I have that in petty cash. From where I come from, we have that in petty cash. So you, you didn't do anything to no. stop it. No, Norm, and it's all about respect, Norm, okay? The last time that we came out, you and Boomer Bratton had your little Abbott and Costello thing going, but it's about respect. It's about respect for the potentate of hate, and first and foremost, it's about respect for Terracon. He's a visitor to our fine country, 
and he was he was defending himself from a fan who got too close, and they know to stay back. Defending himself. Defending himself. He had flash bulbs going off in his face, and we don't know what kind of customs, you know, that what's going to upset him. He is a fine. He's a visitor to our fine country, and he he was just defending himself. No. But you had no interest in helping out whatsoever. No, no interest no. in getting in between. No interest in calling your guy off. No, I wanted to show Norm that I am in control of Terror Khan. And if I want to step away for a second, you guys, uh, something might happen, okay? But I wanted to come over and tell you guys, first and for, or, uh, again, that, that who I am and the respect that you should show, not only for myself, but Terror Khan. And these are the things that are going to happen, the consequences that are going to happen if you do sh not show us that respect. Where did you find this guy in the first place? where all great managers have find, found great talent in Africa, in Tanzania, where a lot of the great warriors are from. That's where we found Terracon, and I handpicked him. And he was bred to come over here and destroy anybody in his path. It has nothing to do with Greco-Roman wrestling or anything technical. He is coming over here to destroy people, and that's what I want for my stable, Norm. And that's what I'm going to have. Well, coming up on May the 19th, and it's just a... A day or so away, yeah. it is uh, the pretty boy Diamond Couture that you are going to have to deal with. Yeah. Well, I have something to say to Diamond Couture. Diamond Couture, I know you, and you know me. There was a time that you and I walked the same path, all right? But that was then, and this is now. And the chair shot that you gave my man the other day, all you did was awaken a monster, and now he's going to have to deal with the consequences of that monster. How do we know you can? Actions. How do you know we you can control this guy? How do we know this? Norm, don't you worry about that. That kind of gives you the little bit. That, that's the allure of it. Okay, you don't know if I can or if I can't, but I know that I can. All right, Norm. So you just stay there and you be scared. But I'll tell you what. I have the skull and the staff. I can take care of him when I want to. Don't worry. I'm not getting anywhere near him. But you'll see, Terracon back in the ring coming up. It's May the 19th and. The potentate of hate, Benjamin Harley, will be in his corner, and he'll take on the pretty boy, Diamond Couture. More coming up here on Powerbomb Wrestling, the superstars of NWA Championship International Wrestling. Hello, wrestling fans. Welcome back to NWA Championship International Wrestling. I'm Norm Weiner, along with my guest this week, the big baby Benjamin Boone, and uh, we're going to discuss some of the heinous, nasty attacks. If you followed our television program, you'll know that Legion, Na Nitro, Malice, and that slimeball TK Parker, you'll know some of the nasty things they did. Not only have they beat me up in the parking lot, they took that old man, Percival A. Friend, that man could have had a heart attack. He has a heart condition. He has a heart condition. But... They don't care, and at the last show at the IBC, the most na nasty, despicable thing you could do to a human being, they threw fire in the big baby's face. Now, big baby, you uh, you you have some strong feelings for the uh, Legion, and uh, we just want to know what what do you have to say to the Legion. Well, Norm. The burn part of my beard off. I'm not too happy about that. God, can't see out of this eye. Can barely see out of this eye. And, and frankly, I'm just. I don't know if I'll ever be able to wrestle again. Kind of scared to even be around those guys ever again. Yeah, you you probably do have a good reason to be scared about being around them. Um, rumor has it that you can only. Smell out of half of your nose and half your ears burn off too. A lot of reconstructive surgery. It's very true. Very true. You see this eye right here? You can barely see out of it. They tried to end my damn career. Norm. You know, uh, not only, you know, they, I don't know what their problem is with you guys and I don't know what their problem is with me. Every time I'm at ringside, they come at me too. You know, uh, uh, I just, I, I feel bad for you. I feel, I feel terrible. They've, they burned my face. And you know, I'm not the only victim. You know, they, they go after L, Percival A. Friend. He could have had a heart attack. And he has a heart condition. He has a heart condition. And you know, it just, I'm scared to even be around him. 
I'm, I don't even know what to say. My injuries are so severe. There's no way that I can even be in the building on May 19th. You're too scared. You're too scared. That's what you are. You're scared. <sighs> the big baby is scared. Until I can grow my beard back fully after getting burned off, I don't think I can ever show my face. I wouldn't show your face after your beard's grown back. I mean, you know, no offense, but, um, you know, as we said before, you know, th this team is causing people to have heart attacks. <laughs> you know what? Playtime is over. Come on in, Malice. Heart attacks, burn faces. We don't give a damn. Ain't that right, Malice? That's right. We don't give a damn. We just tear people up. We throw fire in your face. We do whatever it takes. We kick you around, and we're going to take you out. Big baby, it's all over. Nate Matson, we'll see you on the 19th. You're next, Matson. You're coming alone, and you're leaving on a stretcher. <laughs> Unbelievable. Just absolutely. I don't know what you guys want me to say about this after watching what we just watched. And I, I don't know why I keep getting dragged in the middle of this thing. I, they're just, I, their adjectives just can't describe how disgusting they are. I, they think, I mean, take shots at me, that's fine. All right, no big deal. All right, but, but to, to make fun of the fact that they may have taken somebody's eyesight, that their wrestling career might be over, really kind of says says all that can be said i there's there's really not much else i can add to this this is this is i i really hope this doesn't ruin the whole night tomorrow at the international boxing club it's a great card it's a fantastic card you'll see some of the best wrestlers anywhere doors will open at four bell time at five it's 525 earlwood avenue in east toledo just off a of star and i-280 here it is here's the card you will see tag team match Andrew Shane, Sexy Sean Casey, Dr. Jerry Graham Jr. in the corner as they take on D-Ray 3000, Will Studd with Bobo Brazil Jr. in their corner. Mysterious Crimson, a handicap match. He'll take on the world's most huggable wrestler, Brian Castle, with Andrew Lee. Also, the CIW Heavyweight Championship is on the line. Sebastian Rose back, healthy, ready to go, and take on Austin Maddox with TK Parker in their corner. Diamond Couture against the vicious Terror Khan, the potentate of hate, Benjamin Harley, in his corner, you'll see Buzz Manson on the card, the great Akuma, the mastermind, Dave DuPont. And of course, the tag match, the Legion, Nitro, Malice, TK Parker. I'm trying to hold my tongue, I really am. They'll take on the Sons of Michigan. We hope the Big Bear Benjamin Boone will be there. We know that Nate Matson will, will not back down from a fight. I got a hunch that Ben Boone's gonna be there because they don't back down from a fight. And this ain't gonna be a wrestling match, it's gonna be a fight. There's no question about it. Heaven help us if Sons of Michigan can't slow down Legion. We'll find out tomorrow night, International Boxing Club, 525 Earlwood Avenue. We hope to see you there. It's NWA Championship International Wrestling.